Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 180 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam, and today we are going to be looking at the Protected Pages module. Uh, the Protected Pages module is a module that allows you to provide a password to your customer or client, and then with that password, they can then access the page. But without that, they will not be able to access it. They instead get a prompt that says, enter your password. Uh, a couple different use cases I'll talk about along the way. Um, well, some of them could be if you obviously just have sensitive information you only want certain clients to see, or for example, at Code Karate, we could um, use this for uh, to put uh, necessarily our cheat sheets behind this. If we only wanted certain people with a password to to get that, we could uh, use it for that use case. So a lot of different use cases. Also, there's a lot of different options you could use besides this module, but this module is quick and easy way to get this done. Um, really quick before we jump into the module, again, just head on over to uh, CodeKarate.com. Make sure to check out our Five Secrets to Becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja eBook, as well as our cheat sheets that are available. We both have one in Git and in Drush, so check those out. All right, let's get started. So for this video, I am using um, 7.24 of uh, the Protected Pages module. So once you get that downloaded and installed, just head on over to your modules page and then enable the protected pages module. Once you enable it, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your permissions. And once you go to the permissions, scroll down to you find the protected pages section. And in that, there's three different permissions that you can configure. Um, the one that's the most important is the middle one here access protected um, page password screen. Um, this just allows you to, allows that user to be able to even get to that page. Um, without it, they can't even get to it, so it's kind of defeats the purpose of the protected passwords module. So I always make sure to check um, the roles that I want, and in this case, I want all my roles, anonymous, authenticated, and the administration role. Of course, you can configure the other ones based on the roles that you might have on your site, um, but for this, simple case we're just going to use those three alright so once you get those permissions set go to your configuration protected pages and there's some settings in here that you can configure um, the first one is is the protected pages that you want um, protected pages works off of nodes or pages so what you can do is you could use a view or you could use panels or you could just use a regular um, basic page content type um, in this case, I'm just using a basic page, and you see that I've added one down here. So node slash one is a protected page, and if I edit this, um, I could then I would be able to set the password of the page. So I'm going to set that here and save it. So now I have any time I go to node slash one, I should be prompted for a password. You can also see there's a send email button here. If you click on that, you can select recipients, and then it, I'll show you how you can configure the subject and body here, but this is basically an email that I'll send to them, letting them know, hey, you can go to this URL, and here's the password that you need to use to access it. So it provides a kind of a drop out of the box, easy way to contact uh, people that you want to have access to the email. Um, if you go over here to the settings tab, there's a bunch of different settings that you can configure. You can use a global password. Um, and up here you have a uh, setting that says you only want to allow, allow per page passwords, so that would be individually. Or you can allow both, or you can only allow a global. Of course this would be if you wanted to just have one password for all your protected pages, you could, that's where you would enter that. This one, last one is kind of an interesting one. The last one in this section anyway. The session expire time uh, as you can see from the description below, this basically is how long the session holds until they have to re-enter their password. Um, if, of course, if it's set to zero, um, it's unlimited. The session will never expire, but you could set that to, you know, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you prefer. Um, and then the below sections are just the configurations on different elements within the protected pages settings. So this would be the email subject, email content. Um, we also have uh, 
stuff as far as on the page itself, protected pages, it, this is like all the prompts. So you can configure all of that if you'd like. I'm going to leave them all default. So now if I go over here as a use case and I said I am a individual and I go to node slash one, you'll see that I have a protected page enter password. So I have to enter a password that again I would provide in that email. I click authenticate and once I enter the correct password I now can see the content behind that page. So for your eyes only and to show you that is the content that I created. So if I go over here to content again as the admin and I see this page so there you go. So that's what I wanted to show them. And again, this could be anything. This could be a view in there. It could be a panel page. It could be whatever you wanted it to be. It could be an invoice, whatever. Of course, right now it's just a simple node. Um, and then again, if I go back to the page, I see the same thing, but it's because I entered the password correctly. So anyway, that, that is the module. Um, real simple module, not too much to it, but um, has a definitely some use cases for um, privacy as well as showing clients specific things. All right, so that is everything. So make sure again to let us know what you think of the module. If there's any other modules that are similar you want us to review, let us know. Um, otherwise, um, again, head on over to Code Karate, check out what's going on there, and let us know any other thoughts you have. All right, thanks guys.